If we didn't have a lot to eat, right? Oh, you're gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we didn't have a whole bunch of more things to eat, I would eat the whole thing. But you beat me to it. <laughs> What's good, you sexy mother Welcome back to another episode of Sin Foods on Thrillist from my kitchen. Yeah! I'm Tim Chantarangsu. And I'm David Satarangsu. <sighs> so as you know, no one's allowed to eat at restaurants, but we're still trying to support our local businesses, make sure these people can still, uh, you know, keep the lights on. And for those of you out there that say like, hey, I can't afford to eat all the time, you don't have to. We're talking about you that go out to eat on a regular basis like me. And me! Yeah, man. By the way, this posted is because uh, I have a brand on here, so we just had to cover it up. Post! <laughs> Shout out to Gold Belly for sending us all this delicious food from the city of Chicago. That's what we're doing today, bro. Chance the Rapper. Kanye West. Common. Yeah, all, all, the, all those guys <laughs> that hang out together. <laughs> so uh, we got some delicious food lined up, but before we get into the stuff that tastes good, I think oh, we need, damn. I think we need this Chicago staple, Malort. Uh, this here tastes like the bum of a winch. So when we were in Chicago, <laughs> Chicago natives were like, you guys gotta try some Malort. And we were like, what the f is Malort? As soon as I said I was down, their faces lit up. Like, oh, you wanna try some Malort? Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this shit right here, bro, is, is, it's not good. It's not <laughs> I don't know shit about this, but I can already tell off the bat that this was probably used for some type of whack ass medicinal purpose back in the day or something. You pour this on your, your burn or something, you know what I'm like, saying? I'm pretty sure this is what the back of DJ Khaled's neck tastes like. <laughs> Oh, dog, he's never gonna be on my podcast. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. I think we need to taste some of it straight up. And then and then we'll throw a little some 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 in there. Get you a fresh cube of ice here. Mm. My lord. Mm. Oh, that's enough. What are you doing? <laughs> we, we just need a taste. <laughs> we just need a taste. <laughs> Cheers, my lord. Cheers! It's Bitter man. Like if you took a boot. Ah. <laughs> In Thailand, they have this word called a uh, kom. It tastes like kom. You ever had? <laughs> you ever had a bitter melon? Yes. Yes. That's what that is. It's bitter melon. It's bitter melon. The definitive definition of what bitter is. That is what malort. It's bitter as. F me no. Me no like this malort. <laughs> I'm gonna add some juice to it. See if we can uh, salvage this. I think citrus would go really well with malort. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> It cuts right through it, dude. That's how, how? That's not bad. <laughs> sorry, sorry, like I convulse. All right, let's eat. Tim, <laughs> don't do it. Tim, Tim, no. Um, okay, do you want to do these sandwiches or these hot dogs? Let's do the hot dogs first. Okay, so check this little contraption out back here. Hot dog water, we put a little strainer on top to steam the buns as we tuck. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's amazing. How you do that, man? <laughs> so first we're gonna do some famous Vienna beef hot dogs, Chicago style. You know, one time I uh, I shook this guy's hand and his hands were wet and literally I smelled my fingers and it smelled like hot dog water. He definitely just grabbed the bag of hot dogs before he shook <laughs> your hand then for sure. Disgusting. Dude, I could pork my own little stand. Yeah, I think so. Right? Oh, Korean style hot dogs, Japanese hot dogs are really popular. Oh. You should do like a Korean hot dog stand. That's right, just put kimchi in and I'm good to go. Literally, bruv. Literally, bruv. We were given Chicago relish and what are those you got there? The Vienna peppers, the sport peppers, the Chicago style hot dog, Vienna beef. Build it yourself, peppers. Ooh. And we got some uh, some classic yellow mustard. All right. When I had this in Chicago, <laughs> I had it. <laughs> I had it with this, and I had it with this. But I also had it with jardinier and some other stuff. I don't know how people normally have it, but I think it's with the Chicago relish and the hot pepper and, and the mustard. Right? I think we gotta do it all. So I will do I will do mustard first. Gotta shake it up so you don't get that pre jizz. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Why does it look like candy? That's why when I saw it, I got freaked out a little bit. But it doesn't taste the way it looks. Why is it so green? Do they have a lot of Irish there? Yeah, O'Hare's and... Chicago O'Hare. Mm -hmm. Chicagoans, tell us if we're doing this wrong, man. Like, I really want to know. Um, like I said, American food is not my, my particular expertise. 
Let's do All it. All right. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yo, that Vienna hot dog is fire. Mm -hmm. Like nice little snap tight casing around that sausage. Reminds me of a Costco hot dog, which I love. Mm -hmm. You know what people kind of like listen to other people describe food, right? It, everything that I like about fancy food is still in this hot dog, right? Meat, fat, acid, sweet, saltiness. Mm -hmm. So good. Texture. Texture has everything that you like out of those fancy dishes. And I think that essentially the foods that we like is balanced. Like it has that, it has layers of flavor. And this shit is fucking good, man. I don't give a fuck what you say. I hate, I hate it when people eat fancy food and now they can't go back to eating hot dogs. It's like, what are you talking about? So stupid, dog. Yeah. I met a guy that said he doesn't eat corn dogs because he doesn't eat low quality food. Get the fuck out of here, you virgin. Don't you ever disrespect the corn dog ever, dude. By the way, if you guys are virgins, nothing wrong with that. I was a virgin until I was 18. Me too. If we didn't have a lot to eat, right? Oh, you're gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we didn't have a whole bunch of more things to eat, I would eat the whole thing. But you beat me to it. <laughs> oh man, cheers. <laughs> no! All right, so next we're gonna try this Italian beef sandwich from Buona. And apparently this shit is like, a Chicago staple as well, bro. I love sandwiches and I actually like Italian beef sandwiches a lot. This is probably out of all the things that we shot is the, the one that I've had the most experience with. It's all this like beef and this, this this gravy. It has a heavy on Italian herbs and seasoning and every place has their own recipe, but it's like an Italian like French dip. And then I had it with a bunch of jardiner, which is that pickled- like, Jardinelle. That pickled like peppered relish. So we don't have any of the pickled pepper relish, but we got some Italian beef. Got that Italian beef. That Italian beef, though. So we gonna get that. We gonna get that juice and slop it all around. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like okay. That. Okay. I went to another place in Chicago. I don't know where it was, but they actually. I think they kind of dipped it into the the jus, the juice as well. Yeah. And they wrapped it up, and it was like a juicy sandwich, which I liked. I'm uh, not sure if that's common, but let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna dip it. Why the f not, Brad? Yeah, what? Ah, it's hot. It's so sweet. God. What are you looking for? A knife. It's my kitchen. There's there's a whole there's so many knives right there. Where'd the chef knife go? Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> just to do that. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> All right, Tim. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. I definitely want that jar now. Oh, Tim. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I feel like this isn't the right bread either because it's not really holding up to all that juice. So. This is the bread that we got sent with our Vienna sausages. I don't know what bread we're supposed to use, but you know what? It's tasty enough to give me a buona. <laughs> I did not respect that one. That was good. <laughs> All right, so we have a, a deep dish pizza in the oven right now. We want to give it as much time as possible because you know what I'm saying? It's a deep dish pizza and them mother are thick. Thicky, thick, nice and juicy, BBW, how? <laughs> so she's getting warmed up right now, and as she gets warmed up, we're gonna try some donuts that got sent to us from Chicago. This better be, like, fire. Cause we got some good donuts out here in La La Land. Yeah. Here's a donut for you, sir. Oh. And these donuts from Chicago are coming from Stan's Donut and Coffee. Oh, this looks... Interesting. Oh wow! Is this like a, a red velvet situation? I think so. Oh yes. Mmm, mmm, yeah. Mmm, it's a red velvet donut. Oh, that's delicious. I like a little bit of a little icing on there too. Mmm. You know what we should do? Since we're at my house, ice cream. <laughs> my man, he knows I love ice cream. And guess what? Lactate ice cream, my guy. My man knows that I. Can. Oh. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little, little of this, and then I'm just gonna like put a little bit on my thing there. Take a little. You and I have very different portion sizes, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. My lord. Oh, my lord. Mm. Oh yeah, I see you. Oh my goodness gracious. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Killing this. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay, sir? I have donut in my nose. <laughs> you a beast. Mm. All right, y'all, so the very last thing on our list of Chicago foods is Bartolini's Deep Dish Pizza. Now, you know, 
when we did Sin Foods at the Taste of Chicago, we ran into some Chicago locals who were like, deep dish isn't really something we really eat out here, you know? And I was like, really? They're like, yeah. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Uh, like Pink's Hot Dogs is like an LA thing. But who, who goes, like, I don't go to Pink's Hot Dogs on the regular like that. I've probably been like That's twice true. my whole life. But uh, I'm ready to try some Chicago deep dish shipped to us straight from Chicago. David, get it. All right. Whoa, look at a piece of pie. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That mother looks crazy. Dude. <laughs> oh sh What the f almost just happened there? Oh, that was the most scariest moment of my life. I almost burned my foot on an oven and put a f***ing pizza on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's see how should we cut this thing here. Just put it there, break me in half, kill me, slaughter me. I hope it's uh warm on the inside. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Mmm. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Wow, this looks beautiful. My lord. Beautiful. Let me get you a fork. Yeah. Am I the best host ever or what? You dude? are. Oh. Um, baby, so hey man, Sin Foods. We just wouldn't be the same without you, man. I Thanks, love you man. and I cherish you and I appreciate you so much, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> we have been around each other for a whole week, so, you know, it's what it is. Cheers. Oh, man. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Good. How could you be mad at that? That's good. Super thick, gooey, cheesy layers, tomato sauce, big old chunks of, of, of meatball, almost, it feels like. It's lasagna with crust. Yeah! Which is like... How can you be mad at that? It's fire. Oh, girthy. BBW. Oh, BBW. love it. Put my face in it, boy. There's um, green olives in here. The uh, tomato sauce on this, by the way, seasoned very, very well. The flavor is popping. Mm. You got mm. those spicy slices of pepperoni, then the stringy cheese. Uh. We cooked this thing real good, too. Mm. Wow. Mmm. That is so good. Because <laughs> also because it's like, look, I love thin crust pizza too, and I love regular crust pizza. But the thing about a deep dish is like, you literally get like your whole mouth full <laughs> with just like flavor and ooey gooey cheese and meat and sauce. <sighs> and you get full off of one slice. For sure. This is like eat with the family, most definitely. This will feed like the solid five people, five, six people. Some malort. <laughs> I'm good, man. What's wrong with you? Some malort, bro. Cheers! Pink! <laughs> so, uh, what was your favorite thing you ate today, bro? Oh, it's this bad boy sitting right in front of me right now, man. This deep dish pizza, fa ha higher. 100%, I can't even lie, I can't front. Usually I try to say something different from you, but no contest. This right here, mwah. Well, Hope y'all enjoyed another episode of Send Foods on Thrillist from Tim's Kitchen. Make sure you leave in the comments below what city we should get food delivered from next. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm Tim Shot the Wrong Soup. And I'm David So. Thanks for watching, you.